Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you, uh, a lot of people have been asking me recently, probably because of the popularity of Pokemon Go and apps like that, how to record your iPhone screen. Uh, and the way that I normally do it is by utilizing a program called ScreenFlow. Uh, if you don't know what ScreenFlow is, I'll put some links in the video description uh, showing you tutorials. Basically, it's how I make all of my tutorial videos. Uh, and it just makes it really easy in the newest version of ScreenFlow to record your iOS device, whether it be your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, whatever it may be. So in order to do that, what you need to do is open up ScreenFlow, and if you go to your doc, uh, I'll show you my doc here, ScreenFlow looks like this guy right here, a little blue icon with a little white video camera on top of it there, so that's what ScreenFlow looks like. And then now in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see the little ScreenFlow icon, click the ScreenFlow icon, and then go to Configure Recording. Once you've done that, you're going to see this box presented to you here. Now, the next step is extremely important when it comes to recording your iPhone or iPad screen. You need to make sure that your device is plugged into your computer. So it needs to be plugged in via the white USB cable or a knockoff USB cable that you've purchased from a gas station, whatever it may be. Just make sure your device is plugged into the computer that you're wanting to record with, with ScreenFlow. And then once you've done that, go to new recording right here in the left hand side of the screen and then click on the record screen from. It's going to be right underneath the record desktop right there. And then once you've clicked the record screen from, if you have your device plugged in, you're going to see the drop down menu you to where you can choose the iPhone or iPad that you want to record the screen of. And then once you're ready to go, click the red record button right there and you will be good to go. Obviously, I'm not going to do that now because I'm recording this video for the tutorial, so it'll not do it twice. But if you hit the record button, it will then record your iOS device. It'll record the video and audio separately and you can split those in post and actually adjust them separately. So that's how you record your iPhone and iPad screen utilizing ScreenFlow. If you have any questions, however, go ahead and put those in the comments section below. Let me know. I'll get to those as soon as possible. And guys, as always, don't forget to share, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.